Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. Today we will see how to automate AWS EC2 deployment using Terraform and Jenkins. By the end of this session, we will learn how to set up Jenkins pipeline that provisions EC2 instance using Terraform. In this tutorial, we will cover following topics like AWS and user creation, writing Terraform code to deploy EC2 instance, configuring Jenkins pipeline for deployment and one common issue regarding AWS compromised quarantine policy. So let's get started. Before starting, make sure to complete few prerequisites like Terraform, Jenkins and GitHub. These three components you have to install on your system before starting this practical. Step one, create a GitHub repository to store Terraform file. Go to github.com and in profile, go to repository. You will see in top right corner there is new button. Name your repository, anything you like, give the description and uh, select the view as public and private as you need and create. Once you create, browse through your repository, make sure it is created properly and this is my repository which i have created in this repository we will place our terraform file or before proceeding to next step copy this url and keep it handy for future use we have created github repository now we will create one im user for terraform for this we have to log in in our aws console and create a user I have logged in into my AWS portal and I will go to IAM. I am select under IAM, select user and click on create user. Name user, anything. I will provide Jenkins, Coursera form. Management console is optional as we will be using in Terraform. So management console is not required here. We will attach attach policy directly. So in this particular practical, we are creating EC2 instance. So I will give policy EC2 full access, full and control access. Policies are loading. We will wait for a few minutes. For your reference, I have created all step-by-step -step documents documents for your reference you can download it from my github repository which i have mentioned in in video and i will provide the link in the description okay policies are loaded we will give policy ec2 instance full access and uh, as mentioned again we will provide full access it is not needed, it is optional. You can give it. Okay, I have provided the policy. Now click on next and create user. Okay, user is created successfully. Now, once user is created, we will create access key. Access key will be used in Terraform. 
So go to the user and under security credential, you will see access key. We will click on create access key, CLI, and take confirmation and create access key. Once access key is created, you save it so that you can we can use it further. Access key and secret key. We will verify the same. Yes. Now we can download also download this key. Okay. Click okay. on done. Now we have created IAM user and provided the necessary permission. And also we have created access key for that user to run Terraform and deploy EC2 instance. In step three, we will create a Terraform configuration file for EC2 creation. We will use the one notepad or text editor for this. Before creating file, we will first clone our repository to local so that we can create new one Terraform file and push it to GitHub. So we will create yeah, in Terraform here. I will initiate Git. Once it is initiated, okay, we will clone our repository. The repository you are here, you can get it from here. Okay, it is clone here. We will browse through that. In this, I will create I will create one Terraform file. Let's say I I will name it as a Terraform tf make sure to give extension as tf so that uh, we can analyze it once you have created this file copy the this line of code and paste here in here we are using provider as aws as we are creating ec2 on aws we are creating instance on AWS region, US2. The US2 is London region. You can say London Europe region it is US2. And access key. Uh, you have copied access key once you have created your AI users. You need to give here. Make sure it is correct, otherwise you will take error. Okay, in next step, we are creating resource of AWS instance. I am using AMI. This, you can see the AMI. You can get AMI ID from AMI option. You can see here I am using AMI here, browse AMI and you can search here as this is the AMI which I'm using Windows Server 2002. You can select any AMI and you can copy this ID. Okay, and instance, instance type is T2 micro. Now you have created one ter Terraform file. Now we will push this in our GitHub repo. Here, I will git add git commit Terraform file. Okay, 
okay it is so the thing is uh, okay the file was created outside of that directory we will create this but and paste it here so that okay it is not tracked we will again say git add git commit and we can make sure that now we will say git push for genie make okay it is push now you will see <coughs> our github repository okay it is created here as you can see so we have created configuration file for terraform and we have pushed it in github repo in step 4 we will create jenkins pipeline job for this we will go to Jenkin dashboard and click on new item. We will name item creation. We'll select item type as a pipeline. Click on OK. Description or you can provide. Now after that we will go directly pipeline and we will copy the pipeline Groovy script. Which is provided in document. Okay. Here in this script, we are we have created stages like checkout, terraform, any terraform plan, and apply. So here we are first uh, cloning the git repository which we have created, and once it is cloned, we are executing command terraform init terraform plan and apply where we have mentioned all these two instance creation once you have created pipeline i uh, will click apply and save okay and save we have just now we have created jenkins pipeline now we will build it and let's see once the output job has started and if you see the log, it has a little apparently exhibit applying those changes creating instance. It will take some time. Meanwhile, we will go to our EC2 instance AWS portal and check if instance are getting created or not. Yes, as you can see, instance is created. Yes, is created. Yes, job successful executed. We can check here, logs everything. It is yes. Yes, our job is successfully executed, and as you can see. Instance is also created. We will check if instance are this instance is up and running or not. Go to mention screenshot. Yes, our system is up and running. We have successfully deployed an AWS EC2 instance using Terraform in Jenkins. Let's quickly recap what we did today. We have created an user with necessary permission. As you can see in the document, we have created an user and set up in data repository, local data form configuration for provision in PC2 instance. We have created a Jenkin pipeline and we have built pipeline and verified the EC2 instance. This process helps in automating infrastructure deployment, making it more efficient and reliable. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Also, drop your questions in the comment. I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.